Wow, where, where did they get those videos? It's, I haven't seen that stuff in a while. Uh, I'm just thankful Jack Winsinger didn't introduce me. Uh, he would have said, please welcome the second best golfer to ever come out of Jesuit High School by a long shot. Jordan, of course, uh, barely edging me out lately. Uh, growing up, I always dreamed of slipping on a master's green jacket, so this is bittersweet and in many ways more meaningful. Uh, congratulations to my fellow nominees. Uh, I hope this trip down memory lane has been as special for you as it has for me. I also want to thank Jesuit for this induction. It is events and tributes like these that separate Jesuit and the Jesuit experience from any other high school, fraternity, or community. I will forever be in debt to this great place. It has been fun reminiscing about what seems to be a past life I used to live. If you played golf with me today, you might question this honor. So thank goodness there wasn't some 18-hole qualifying match. <laughs> I am pretty sure Ryan Hanratty would be up here instead of me. Ryan and I played here in what I think of now as a different era in the game compared to today. There was something unique about our team. All of us could really play golf. We won tournaments, including state titles, three years in a row, usually by 50 strokes. It is no secret that if you are surrounded by people that are better than you, then you will improve your own self. As fate would have it, that was my case as a freshman on the Jesuit golf team. Next, I want to thank my wife, Erin. We have known each other since kindergarten and have been together in some form or fashion since eighth grade. Even though she's been around me and golf forever, she knows very little about the game. <laughs> she even proceeded to get me disqualified at a US Open qualifier, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> Aaron, thank you for being you and for never wanting to take up this game of golf. <laughs> And now my grandfather, he is only 91 years old and he still plays golf almost every day. He would travel to many of my tournaments. At NCAA regionals one year in Arkansas, he was walking up, up and down hills, keeping his severe chest pains to himself so he wouldn't miss a single shot. He had heart surgery the following week and was back playing golf a few weeks after that. This took a while, but I did some math, and we've played 156,318 holes together. <clears throat> Thank you for everything you have done for me and the whole Kidwell family. My mom, who was my team captain, agent, and travel companion until I went to college, who put together enormous scrapbooks of every tournament I ever played in, beginning at the age of eight and ending with my college career, who didn't get mad when I hit a golf ball through the front window of the house on more than one occasion, who was the intermediary between my dad and I on several occasions. You have seen my best rounds and my absolute worst rounds and was just as proud of me for all of them. Thank you for being the most supportive mother ever. My dad's friends, some of which are here. Thank you for letting me tag along on your golf rounds from when I was six years old. You taught me how to curse, <laughs> how to throw a club properly, and how to play six hole robins, nine point, and wolf. Because of you, my parents never had to give me an allowance. <laughs> my golf winnings from you every weekend supported many weekend habits a high schooler might have. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank my dad. Where to even start? You put a club in my hands, 
You included me on your hunting and fishing trips and in your weekend games. You somehow managed to help me with my swing, I guess by reading the latest Golf Digest tips. <laughs> you paid for the expensive habit. Most importantly, you called me out when I was being lazy. And although I hated that at the time, I quickly realized you were right. And by calling me out, you made me work even harder. And working hard begets success. Weird how that goes. I would bet that we have probably spent more time together than any other father-son, and that was because of our love for the outdoors and this great game called golf. To you, Mom and Papa, thank you for the support, the hard love, and overall opportunity to do something I loved for so long. Thank y'all.